basically the goal is to create an India uh, that is inclusive, that is developed, that you know, empowers every individual by 2022, India 75. And, and the, the launch is to make sure that uh, you know, this reaches out to every citizen. We create a platform leveraging technology that reaches out to every Indian. They can participate, volunteer their time, they can create projects, they can ask for people to participate in that project, all towards achieving the goal through individual initiatives, through team initiatives, group initiatives, that we can leverage to reach the goal of uh, a developed India by 2020. So India at 75 is a people's movement made by the people for the people where we have a vision for what India should be in the year 2022 which is 75 years after independence. So we have a very strong vision based on certain pillars where we think every one of us can contribute to make India a better place, you know, a more um, inclusive, a sustainable, a more developed country than it is today and we have an action plan and an, and an agenda and today we have an outreach program to invite every Indian to participate in this movement. What, what do you think corporate houses, what role do they play in you know this movement and how, will, how would that accentuate the, the movement in general? So this is a pan-sector endeavour but corporate houses uh, sort of led by CII a little bit has initiated the movement. So I think corporate houses know how to structure and plan things. So I think that's why in some, in, in, I would say that it's leading it in some ways. But it's a pan sector. There's pan sector involvement and support from uh, sports, from from uh, Bollywood, from uh, academia, from all sorts of different professionals. And what we're doing is really inviting every Indian and showing every Indian how he or she can participate, collaborate, and make a difference.